but I want to talk about cruising right now because I know that's the topic of today. Um, so coming out of COVID, there was this thought that the demand for cruising would be so, so high from people who were sort of robbed of sailings for, for two years and maybe even more. And I'm curious if you could give us sort of a sense of demand from your clients right now. I mean, are they anxious to get on a sailing? Are they ready? Are they willing to pay? Um, what's, what's sort of the word on the street for, from, your, from your clients? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I always like to kind of preface this by saying that I'm in the upper Midwest. So, you know, we are not a cruise drive market. And so people tend to plan cruises a little further ahead. It's a, you know, at least it's a short flight to get where you're going. Um, but yeah, I, I would say actually since Christmas of 20, um, 2020, people have been booking cruises. And so the whole 2022 wave season like stretched out over that whole year of um, 2020. But people are definitely booking cruises. Um, experienced cruisers are really rearing to go. Um, there, there are many of them have already traveled since, since the cruise industry started back up after COVID. But I am also seeing a lot of people who are booking um, cruises as first time cruisers. And so that's, that's something that's really heartening to see. And, you know, that was a place where I was like, well, is, is, is that going to happen? Was there so much bad press that people are going to be turned off to cruising who've never cruised before? And I have not seen that as the case. Definitely um, a high interest in kind of both segments of the industry. Yeah, that, that is interesting because I know that's always been the thought with this industry is that once you get, once the cruise industry gets someone on board, there's so many different options, there's so many different ships, so many different lines, so many different regions in the world to see that it becomes a repeat customer. Um, but I'm, I'm curious, I mean, where, you mentioned first time cruisers, where do you see them coming from to your business? I mean, what, what, what previous vacation experience did they maybe prefer to cruising um, and now they're entering into this world? Yeah, so, you know, so my, my clients tend to be maybe age 50 plus, maybe 55 plus. They're not necessarily retired, but maybe they're starting to ease into retirement and maybe they'll never even fully retire. But a lot of them are coming to me because they are looking for a specific destination. And, and kind of the two lead-ins for me are Alaska and European river cruises. And then I put the Mediterranean as kind of a third option for that. And of course, you know, the nice thing from a cruise perspective about Alaska is you really can't see it from land. You have to go on a ship. And so, you know, that, that kind of changes the conversation a little bit. Um, but, you know, these are folks who have taken, you know, kind of the same vacations normal people take. Um, you know, they've been to the Caribbean. Some of them have even been on kind of a seven night Caribbean cruise. Um, but it was a long time ago. Oftentimes it was with their family. And it's kind of funny because I'll ask them, you know, which cruise line were you on? And they, they don't even remember. Um, and okay. so they're coming to it kind of from, a, from I, I consider them new to cruise. Um, yeah. from that perspective, but a lot of them are, are 100% new to cruise, have never cruised before, and it's, it's the destination that's bringing them in. They want to go to Alaska, they want to go to Europe, you know, their friends have taken river cruises, and they understand that the nice thing about a river cruise is you see a lot, but you don't have to pack and unpack every day. So they're not, you know, they're not coming and saying, hey, I want to go on a cruise. They're coming and saying, hey, I want to go to Alaska, or hey, I want to go to Europe, and then we kind of have a conversation, and it naturally leads into cruising. And, you know, I was anticipating that there would be pushback. You know, I was brushing up on all those statistics and all the protocols and stuff like that. And I've really found that very few people have personal concerns about health, um, concerns about the safety of cruising or anything like that.